what is going down what the fuck is going down it's your boy studio macgyver and you are listening to studio macgyver's dragon ball and video game podcast welcome to the show guys if you're new to the podcast welcome to the show we talk about all things nerd culture if you're into anime video games then you've come to the right place we talk about all of that shit here and uh this is episode 201 (laughs) yeah man been doing it for a little bit gonna get into a few things today let you guys know how my week has been Um, before i do all that for everybody who's been listening to the show uh, and people who are new to the show and and, and appreciate the content please do me a favor do yourself a favor and go to studio macgyver.com that's all things studio macgyver it lives there you can get all of my handles my facebook my instagram my even music that i put out there uh, some of it's free. You can get that. You can support the show by donating. You can also buy merch from the podcast. There I have a lot of dope shit, hoodies and hats, um, things of that nature. You can check that out. But yeah, studio dot com, guys. Check that out. You can stream the podcast there. You can download it there. All of that good shit. So without further ado, let's get on with the show. I have a few things I want to talk about. I have some release dates for some games that I didn't even think was going to ever come out. Okay, one in particular I want to talk about. I've talked about this game many a time, uh, and I'm really excited now, finally, that we have a release date for this game. Also, I had an interesting weekend uh, with a good friend of mine, and it's concerning uh, PC gaming. I talked about it last week, guys. Those of you that listened to the podcast then, you knew that I was really getting serious about that. So I'm going to dive into that as well. And then we have some information on Resident Evil Village that I kind of want to talk about. Also, some Naughty Dog information um, out here floating around in these digital streets. And uh, something else that concerns PlayStation 5. I'm going to get into that. I've talked about this before too. And uh, also, another game that I've been playing You'll never guess what it is. and I'll get into that as well. Now, let's begin the show. Let me first start out by saying, uh, giving a special shout out to my boy, Jesse, a.k.a. J. Love. He knows who he is. If he watches this on YouTube or listens to the podcast, then he will (laughs) definitely know what I'm talking about. But, yo, he's the guy that was trying to get me to get into Steam and PC gaming and all of that stuff. So shout out to him for coming over here and, uh, he, you know, putting that elbow grease on man and, and diving in, uh, my computer, man, I, I it's a, it's a brand new computer guys. I mean, I, I can't believe how fast and how much of a change putting an SSD into any computer laptop or otherwise will do for for you it makes a fucking difference a crazy difference it it just it's it's incredible um it took it literally took five minutes five to six minutes for my laptop to start up from the time i hit the power button until it was fully all the way on and i could do everything without lag or anything like that most of us know especially with older pcs and stuff like that you know, sometimes it takes forever. My girlfriend has a fucking 20. She bought a laptop in like, it's a 2018, 2019. And that shit takes literally 10 minutes to fucking start up. It was, it's one of those cheaper HP uh, notebooks. I think it was about 250 when she bought it. But it literally takes 10 fucking minutes to start up. And I just couldn't believe it at first because I was trying to use it because, you know, our son goes to, you know, uses it for his classes or whatever and because of the whole COVID-19 shit you you know how it goes but I'm sitting there thinking oh it's not ready he says it's not working it's not working I'm saying what it's been seven eight minutes what do you mean come to find out the laptop was just still loading <laughs> I know it's crazy right but that's that's the deal um well my boy came over he I bought a SSD, 500 gigabytes. I bought a, I bought eight gigs of RAM because I think I had six gigs of RAM in the laptop. Now, keep in mind, my laptop 
is old as fuck. My laptop is 10 years old. Okay, it came out like 2010, 2011. And it was a beefy laptop for when it came out. It's got an i7 in there. And it came with Windows 7, of course. Uh, it's got some decent specs for a laptop. It's pretty heavy, too. It's really sturdy built. It's got a lot of weight to it for a laptop. So, And then it has room to upgrade. It had room to upgrade. So uh, it, it's pretty powerful in its own right. And it definitely was when it first came out. But for laptops, I guess you can say. Um, but, you know, I had Windows 7 on there. And the shit was just sluggish. It took forever to load up. Five, six minutes. And, you know, I was just it was time for an upgrade, man, you know, and what really got me to wanting to do it was the fact that I was trying to get into steam and I wanted to I was curious about steam and I wanted to find, you know, some of those games that I that I couldn't find anywhere else. OK, and so I finally have a steam account and thanks to him, I bought that stuff. He opened it up. He put the shit in there. And when I say it's night and day. It is fucking night and day. It literally took me six to seven seconds. At the most, it took nine seconds for the startup on this fucking computer. From the moment I hit the power button and it's on and ready to go, literally anywhere from seven to nine seconds. And it's, it's, it's that's it. I, I could not fucking believe it, man. I could not. I, I can never go back. It's faster than my Mac now. Because that's what I loved about Macs. You know, they, they start up really quick. Um, they're, they're really simple to use and it's really no nonsense for them. So when it's running faster than my fucking laptop, then yeah, my Mac, it, it, that's saying something. OK, so kudos to him. He also opened my girl's laptop, which was complicated, way more complicated, had way more screws, all this shit. He opened it up. We were just trying to find out, you know, what we could put in there, what we could upgrade it with. And come to find out, yes, we can upgrade it. So we're going to do that in the next couple of weeks. And that computer is going to be running like ultra fast. If you're listening to this show and you have an old laptop or an old PC or something like that, and, you know, you still have it, don't throw it away. Keep it. Open that sucker up, man, and put in the SSD and it will change the fucking game for your shit. I promise you. Uh, they're not expensive anymore. Like they used to be, like I said, that I, altogether, it cost me about $85. If you don't care about space, if you just want a computer to, you know, surf the internet and do a little shit here and there, uh, and you don't, you're not really caring about storage, then you can pay $25 and get a 250 gig SSD, put it in there and you're going to still love it the same. It's going to be fast it's beautiful and then ram is cheap as well i mean i think that ram that i bought was it was literally around 28 about 30 dollars no more than 30 bucks okay it's a game changer i mean it, it that's all i can say man I, I finally got a steam account i don't have a lot of games i got one game i got some fucking wall awesome wallpapers man um I got Windows 10 now, so I'm cooking with that. It's a free version or whatever, but that's all you need technically. You want to pay $100 to $50, $200 for that if you're not going to be utilizing that. You know, it doesn't make any sense. But I'm cooking now. I'm here. I'm excited. I mean, it's, I, <laughs> I have two laptops now that are worthy of, you know, doing their thing. Um, and it's like I said, it's an older laptop, guys. And it's it feels like, it's brand new. So, man, that's dope. And I'm just so happy. Anyway, I'm trying to find games to play with Steam. I'm still learning how to use Steam and what it's all about and all that stuff, you guys. So if you could, you know, school me on how this shit works, I'm going to give my friend code out on this show, on this episode. So if you guys are listening, any anybody that plays Steam, that uses Steam and you want to, uh, take this friend code and, and, and hold my hand like a small child and walk me through the wilderness. I'd appreciate that. Uh, maybe, you know, give me some games that I might be interested in and we can get some shit started. Um, I'm told that it works kind of like PlayStation or Xbox as far as parties and friends and stuff like that are concerned. You can have parties and, and you can, you know, play a lot of games, a lot of older games you can play together. Um, 
co-op mode or whatever, how you want to, you know, you could do that type of stuff on some of these games. That's the advantage of Steam in certain situations. But there are some stuff that I saw on Steam that, you know, some of their prices are, you know, the majority of, of Steam games are download only pretty much. I mean, it's a download only website. Now, there are some physical copies, of course, which you can buy, you know, if you buy outside of Steam, um, you know, the older games. But now a lot of the games that are people are making that they don't even have physical copies for. But if you want something older piece it on, on a PC, you've got to find it online or whatever, or maybe a computer store that sells PC games and stuff like that. So, you know, because a lot of their games are pricey, not going to lie. A lot of them are uh older games that are still kind of up there but what how you you have to learn how to pimp steam okay there's a way to pimp it from what i'm hearing from certain people and they're saying that you know make a list of games that you like make a wish list if you will and after you make that wish list just keep them on your wish list and then you'll get notified or whatever or you can just look on your phone and find out what sales are coming up now supposedly there's sales every weekend there's all kind of sales every weekend that you can find so uh i found some dope sales already um and i'm excited to play them i just you know i don't like a lot of i don't like heavy games though like 50 gig games like oh that's you know i'm not gonna overload my hard drive with uh so many games you know i'll kind of kind of do how, how i do the playstation 4 I'll, I'll play a few keep them around and when i'm not playing i'm going to something else you know so on and so forth that way or a lot of smaller games you know i keep on the hard drive and then that's cool uh, i do want to play i do want to play um man, what, what i can't believe it's slipping my mind right now max pain max pain 3 uh on the pc and there's a couple other games, man, that, that I want to get together with some friends on if I can, if the servers or if we can still make that possible. Like the SOCOM series, love the SOCOM series, man. And a couple of my friends love it, too. And they have PCs, luckily. So we're going to we're going to try to put something together, man. Hopefully we can do that. And, yeah, I'll be looking out for that. But I'm enjoying my time. But I'll get to something else that I've been playing on. It's not on Switch, but it is on PC. And I'll get to that uh a little bit later but yeah that that's my thing i'm officially a steam player i guess you can call me that um on the lowest scale right now i'm still learning but i'm here and, and i'm gonna get into it as time goes by and start doing more things all of that man i cannot fucking wait it's gonna be dope um but anyway <sighs> on the anime tip i have been still stuck on the same anime uh last week i talked about a couple of anime i was watching uh stars align i finished that and then i told you guys i started um Recute. and i'm still watching it i'm on season two now i'm like midway through season two so i'm almost done with season two it's an excellent anime i'm having a blast watching it uh man i think i'm right around the time they are about to start the spring tournaments or whatever if you guys watch it you know where i'm at but it's getting good man they're learning they're, they're getting better it's, it's, it's a dope show it's really a dope show so i'm looking forward to what is to come next on the anime watch list on your boys anime watch list i don't know what i'm gonna go with next i'm thinking basketball but maybe i should take a break from sport you know sports uh related anime maybe i should just chill for that for a minute and then jump to something else you know what i mean i'm kind of biding time too for some of the big macaronis like uh, Attack on Titan because, you know, I don't like watching one episode or two and then waiting a whole week to, to get to the next episode. I like to binge a lot of my anime, so I'm trying to wait until it's over because it's the final season and then I can watch it all and then I can just, I'm good. That's that's what I'm trying to do. So there and then I still have a couple other anime that I have to get back to. Uh, there's a lot. There really is a lot. And there's other ones coming this year, of course, uh, some new ones and stuff like that, that Netflix has a lot of them coming. There's so much to consume, guys. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, I watched me, and my girlfriend watched earlier today on HBO Max. We saw what we watched. Um, the Little Things with Denzel Washington. Dope movie. 
two hour movie. Uh, HBO Max is starting to become really, really desirable, man. Um, there's a lot of dope shit. There's a lot of dope shit that HBO Max has to offer. She's in there now watching like Chris Rock comedy special. Uh, one of the older ones, but it's a classic. One of those classics. They have a lot of movies coming out that are going to allow people, you know, to watch them for free instead of going to the movies. You get up 30 days to do it. So that's dope. Um, we had the Denzel Washington movie. We're going to get the Matrix movie when it drops. We're going to get King Kong versus Godzilla. We're going to get all of these things, man. It's awesome. We're going to get Mortal Kombat. So there's a lot of movies. You can actually find out all the movies that will be coming to HBO Max for free. Wonder Woman was also one that we watched, which was <laughs> which was not all that at all. It was mediocre at best. Um, I can't believe that they, 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 yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I, I at first I initially thought it was okay and it's it, it's just it's barely passable and I say that because of the main star of the show because she's so beautiful I think that's it I'm biased towards her on that note but other than that man story wise plot wise it was just it was just not not well written to me at all so it is what it is but yeah HBO Max is the shit definitely there they're the anime uh, content is growing you know they have a little something something on there um, I'd keep an eye out for HBO Max though. I really wouldn't. And and, and who knows? It, it's definitely growing. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about a game. <laughs> well, before I go there, let's talk about Naughty Dog real quick. It's nothing major. Don't you know? It's nothing major. But Naughty Dog is uh, hiring. Naughty Dog is out here in these digital streets putting out ads because they want to hire new people they're trying to build a team okay now we all know they're working on something okay i'm going to speculate and, and say that it's their online uh game basically set in the same universe as the last of us it's going to be a standalone game i think that's what they're talking about i think that's what they're working on and i'd be happy to be wrong I don't care what anybody says about Naughty Dog, man. Naughty Dog is a a pristine company when it comes to technical work. You can say whatever you want to say about them, you know, about their politics or about, you know, the woke movement that they represent or whatever, which is not the end of the world, which is pretty dope if you ask me. But a lot of people can't handle that for whatever reason. But. You cannot deny, no matter how you feel about that shit, you cannot deny that their team, their studio is one of the best at making a beautiful, a beautiful piece of content. They make excellent games. Their games are just technically sound and they're, they're just a joy to fucking play. I mean, the graphics and the things that they were able to do with the base PlayStation 4 is still, I still can't, it blows my mind even to this day how it, how that game runs on the base PlayStation 4, man. It's crazy. But their team is excellent. Um, whatever they put out, I'm definitely going to keep my eyes open. But they're hiring for something. I could be wrong, and then maybe they have that, the online portion of the last of us two maybe they have that stuff already done and they're looking for something else i don't know but that's my money that's where my money is you know i could be wrong like i said before but i don't think i am i don't but we'll see trust me it will come to the light eventually cannot wait cannot wait for these next gen games really i mean there's so many coming but you know what guys i'll segue from that to this which is uh, a game delay I might have mentioned this last week, but Returnal was a game that was scheduled to be released March 19th. Okay. And 2021, of course. And it was really one of the first games that were going to be a first party game from Sony that was going to come out. And it was pushed back to, I want to say, April 30th or April 29th. And that's not good. And I say that because it's kind of giving me vibes of the future. 
because these other games still have no release dates. Okay. I just got a funny feeling that God of War and Final Fantasy VI are going to be pushed back. I got a funny feeling. At least one of those games is getting pushed back, guys. 2022, hmm? I already told you that I thought anyway that those two games were probably going to come out on the tail end of 2021. You know, they might be in some sort of bundle or there might be a, you know, a collector's edition, like, you know, a specially made PS5 with God of War or something like that. So that's just me. I think that's where they're going with it. And it may be postponed for a later date, maybe early first quarter of February or March of 2022. That's just me. Um, you know, the COVID thing is still strong, still going on. There's there, nothing's back to 100 percent yet. And I don't see that happening until 2022 anyway. Uh, before things start to go back to normal as far as employment and working environments and all of that, which, you know, will make or break how all the shit is going now because scalpers are still trying to, you know, do something out of this. There's been, I, I read something the other day that somebody else hit, hit a website for 2000 PlayStation fives, which I don't understand because they're gun They're losing money now, basically. I mean, they're making maybe a little bit of money and that's only if they sell all these systems, which they're not going to, because a lot of people are like me or maybe some of you guys listening saying, I'm not going to buy anything until I can go to the store and get it myself. Okay. Because there's been a lot of incidents where <laughs> people will order online. I'm scared to order online a PlayStation five because all the horror stories that I've seen and heard about people getting their shit taken by fucking the employees that are supposed to be delivering the shit to you <laughs> somehow miraculously gets lost in the mail. They can't find your product. So that that there kind of has me shook. I'm not going to lie, because um, the first thing I thought of was a fucking stick of parquet butter. That's that's it. When I when I heard that, I was like, wow, the, you mean to tell me UPS and, and Amazon and their workers are walking around here with butter in their back pocket, melting as they walk and using it on consumers who are ordering their systems online. That's crazy. You know what I mean? They literally have a Coke bottle with a little bit of Coke, majority of sake, brown, of course, to fool people, have them snowed, if you will, and doing strange things in the dark for PlayStation 5s with warm butter, of course. Uh, Doesn't make me feel good. Doesn't make me feel like a winner uh, when it comes to ordering that or thinking about ordering that type of shit online. So I'm just going to hang back and why even buy one now for the just to say that you have one because or you really want to play your ps4 game uh on your ps5 that bad i i don't it's not that crucial to me um there's nothing out right now like i said the only two games right now that will make me go and and act a, act very very anxious to have one now would be Final Fantasy 16 or God of War Ragnarok. That is it. Those are the only two games right now. Okay. Uh, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it, guys. And I'm not alone. I'm definitely not alone in this. Uh, that's just the way it is right now. So I don't know. It's kind of like they. They're pushing it on us. You know, they're pushing. They, they want us to, to, you know, Christmas. Yeah, they were doing it because it was it's Christmas. You know, you. Everybody was trying to get that for their kids and everything like that. Everybody was trying to get that one up. But now that Christmas is over, nobody's really checking for it. Yes, we all want a PS5, but we're, we're most of us aren't like, you know, at the store every day in the morning trying to get one. I mean, we're just kind of like, OK, we'll wait. We'll, we'll, we'll wait. We're going to get one. We want one, but we're just going to wait until they become easily available at our local stores and that's it and that's all yeah anyway yeah the delays don't don't leave a good taste in my mouth though it doesn't i'm just thinking that we're gonna get more delays and be ready for that don't say i didn't try to warn warn you okay all right i want to talk a little bit about a release date 
of a game that I have fucking been waiting forever, it feels like, to fucking play. I thought this game was never going to get made. I thought it was never going to be finished, guys. <laughs> and that game is fucking Biomutant. Okay? Biomutant finally has a fucking release date. And I can't believe it, that it's here. <sighs> a lot of you guys don't know about Biomutant. You probably don't even know what the fuck Biomutant is. All I can tell you is Google Biomutant. It's very, it's a very stylist, stylistic type of game. Uh, it's got its own charm to it. You're this, uh, I don't even know what this animal is called. It's not even, it, it's a furry, some sort of furry creature. Okay. And it's an action oriented open world game with a lot of customization in it. Okay. All the things that I fucking love. I love open world games. It's third person as well. And I, you know, I love third person <laughs> action RPG type of things, type of games. And that's what this is. You create your own character. You have different stats. No two characters will be the same. Uh, you, you can't, you, you can't lose. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be good. I think, I think it's really going to be good. But anyway, this this game was announced back in like 2016, 2017, sometime early 2017. And it was supposed to come out 2019. I don't even want to say 2018, but it never materialized. The team is pretty small. I think they have a team of about 20 people. So that's a pretty small team. OK, working on this game and the customization in, in the world is is beautiful i love um everything about this game the combat looks super awesome it's like devil may cry type of combat uh it's i mean yeah the amount of trinkets and and, and weapons at your disposal is ridiculous you can you can be melee you can be you know range you can be a mixture of both they have all kinds of uh, <laughs> your crazy devices and, and things you can use and ride and fly so there's so much to this game and i just thought it wasn't going to happen because they were so quiet about it and i remember going on twitter you know roasting them and, and along with other people who are frustrated that the game just they told us it was here and then it just disappeared off the map the date came or the release date window came and went when they told us it was going to come out and they had no comments. It just went dark. Come to find out they did that on purpose. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they did it on purpose anyway, but they did it because they said that they didn't want to crunch. Basically, they wanted to take their time with the game and they were very, very thankful of THQ for giving them, you know, the time and not pushing them like, hey, we got to get this out. Let's go. You know, which a lot of companies are guilty of doing. OK, they're guilty of making people, you know, put shit out before it's really supposed to come out. And that's when problems start. And I think that's for the better. As mad as I was that the game has not been released yet, I would rather have a great product <laughs> than a shitty product. We all have been through it. Cyberpunk 2077 is just in one example of of that for a lot of people. And you just want the game to be the best it can be, especially if you really, really like the game and you're interested in that title. Right. You, you really want that shit to be great. And you don't want to see butter on the table at all. Saki, empty sake glasses. You don't want to see burnt scrolls, you know, smoked all the way down to the butt. You don't want to see those type of things. You know, you want a drug, alcohol free environment for the developers and really their their bosses because those are the ones that are making all these decisions good or bad so i'm just so happy that it's coming out guys may 25th is the date summertime there's a lot of games coming out in the summer okay you have also little devil inside which is like june and really those are the only two games that i'm really 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 want to play uh and they're like indie games which semi indie games you know and that's crazy but those are the ones I want to play the most. And they're only coming out. Biomutant is only coming out for the PS4 
Xbox One and PC. Uh, so next gen consoles, they basically said, well, technically we have a next gen console version out and that's PC. Um, so maybe they come out with a PS5 version, Xbox One xbox series x version i don't know but right now those are the ones we get uh matter of fact little devil inside is also a that's a cross platform so you get old current gen and you get past gen so you get ps4 and 5 you get xbox one and series x as well so huh, yeah um slippery slope but i'm just glad the game is coming out I'm glad that, you know, they were able to do the things that they were able to do. They said that they weren't trying to sacrifice any members. They didn't want to fucking crunch because they had a small team. Number one, if 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 they just missed one guy, it was going to be very detrimental to the company and everything that they have put into it to make the game what it's going to be in their eyes. So there's a lot that goes on with that. So they took their time. They went to THQ. THQ gave them the OK, like, hey, just finish it get it make it right we want it to be good you know thq was like well shit we we're we're behind you because we're the parent company technically we're so we we don't want you to fuck up we want this shit to succeed all right so that's what they've done and i think now that they're they're, they're happy with the results they they got to finish it you know with no crunch time there was not a lot of pressure so i think that helped a whole lot and all the bugs and stuff was really what they were working on. The bugs trying to get all that stuff uh, kinked out. And they were saying that how, you know, it was pretty hard to work on bugs. Bugs are pretty hard to kind of correct and deal with and find in open world type of games. They're a lot harder because you have so much more real estate to cover in these games. And that's understandable, too. So I say it to say I'm excited for this game. Finally, we have a release date, guys. And man, I can play it in May, late May can't wait and now the question is where are you going to get it because i don't know depending on this pc depending on what the specs look like on this game because it doesn't look like a graphically intense game like it doesn't seem that way so i might be able to run it on this fucking laptop now you know what i mean i got like what 12 gigs of ram and yeah 12 gigs of ram and i'm running ssds i still got an i7 in here so i should be all right on this with this game and it's last gen, so it's, you know, if it can run on the PS4, then I'm sure it can run on this. So I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna see, and it's, and and also I want to look at the size of the game. I want to see how big the game is. It, it doesn't look much more than it may be a 15 to 20 gig game in size. That's what it looks like to me. It doesn't look like any more than 25 for sure. And I think I can maintain that. I think that'd be cool for me. All right, anything over that though? Uh, nah. But we'll see anyway i think that news is awesome i know a lot of people were waiting on this game and wondering and probably forgot about it and now to see that beautiful fucking release date may 25th ah just makes everything sweeter doesn't it mm. okay anyway yeah that's out the way I'm, I'm so excited for that cannot wait i think i'm gonna be a huge i'm a fan of the game already and it's not even out just from what I've seen, there's plenty of gameplay, too, for you guys to check out. If you're curious about this game, Biomutant, check it out. There's a lot of videos on YouTube, extended gameplay trailers and stuff like that, that you should definitely check out. And uh, I think you might enjoy this one. I really do. All right. Let's talk about some Resident Evil, shall we? Resident Evil. Resident Evil Village. May 7th, guys. They're also going to be coming out for the PS4. Now, a lot of people feel a little salty about that because they're kind of hanging on to the same kind of thing what people were talking about a while back about the Xbox, how, you know, certain games, if you if you put out two versions, one for, you know, PS5, one for PS4, then you are holding back the potential of the game because you have to downgrade for the PS4 as opposed to just, you know, being free to do whatever you want on the current gen systems or the next gen systems or whatever. So I don't know how to feel about that one. I, with me, I just have to see when I get it. Um, there's also a game they're working on called Maiden. And supposedly the, there will be a demo once you buy the game that you can play for that. There's also a trailer out for that as well. Some really tall bitch uh, who's supposedly a vampire. She's pretty thick too. I can't, I can't lie uh, in a good way. 
Uh, but we'll see about that game. There's a lot of shit coming out. But also, it's not over. I'm not done. RE Verse, Resident Evil Verse, is a game that you buy or that you get access to. It's a multiplayer online only game, but you get access to it if you buy Resident Evil Village, of course. Now, this is on PS4 only and Xbox One only. That's it. You can't get this for the others for the other systems, which is kind of crazy. How do you? I don't know. That's kind of a strange one right there to me. But that's it. There's also a trailer out there for that. It, it looks pretty good. It looks uh, the the character looks uh, cell shaded, and it's kind of like a free for all kind of battle type of thing. Um, I don't know. It's worth a gander. Definitely check that one out. And with that out of the way, what I really want to talk about man, is what they're doing with the PlayStation 5s. Now, uh, some weeks back or whatever, you know, there were a, there were companies trying to make these faceplates, these custom faceplates for PS5 and PS5 shut one of them down, but these people got hip to the game that same company i can't remember their name but they're back along with some other companies along with china when china gets involved it's a fucking rap okay they are mass producing these things in china all right so that there's a loophole that they take so they don't get they can't be sued for copyright by sony and they're using it to perfection a lot of them have just simply black matte black you know um faceplates that that's it and then there's our other companies who are making multiple colors and things of that nature when you start getting into ones that you know are themed oh yeah that's going to be crazy sick and then you can change them out so you might have one or two of these like and you just might feel like changing something out of it it's kind of like how you do your, your you know your screensavers or whatever you know you you rock a screensaver for six months and you're like you know what it's time for somebody else to shine let's let's put somebody else here you know what i mean you can't have just one it's like Lay's potato chips. You can't eat just one. So I'm happy to see that we will have options for the PlayStation 5 and the face plates. You know, when when whoever or whenever we get our PS5, that's good to know. And that's another thing. Waiting this long to get it, waiting for games to actually come out that I want to play. The advantage to that is other things as well. Accessories is just another piece of the pie. Nintendo is king for accessories right now. Uh, in the gaming community man and they just they just they are there's so many things you could buy for the switch cosmetically um that that it's its own kind of beast and you know there's nothing wrong with that at all but yeah i will have a face plate a custom face plate one day um yeah just keep that in mind guys so if you want a certain color you know my you want to poke your head out there man on ebay or wherever and you just surprise you may find something that you maybe not even expected to find there. <sighs> okay. Now we're kind of getting down to the end of the show. Okay. This is going to be a short one. I think it, well, we'll see this last part. I want to kind of talk about a little bit. The game that I'm playing now is an old, old fucking game on PC. And I remember trying to run a couple of these and for whatever reason it was some years back you know a couple of years back or whatever i was trying to run a couple of these and i just didn't know how to do it man and as time went on people updated it and updated it better and better and better and they made it now i'm talking about playing mods i'm talking about playing a modded game now for me as you know when i was in high school i loved the nintendo 64 for one game and one game only or should i say it's a group of games but one company thq thq and that aki engine that wrestling engine still one of the best engines today i don't give a fuck what you say uh this is one of my all-time favorite wrestling games what my all-time favorite wrestling game is wcw nwo revenge okay even better than No Mercy, even though No Mercy had more things that you could do, more activities and things of that nature. They had ladder match and shit like that. Um, I, and they had more animations, more more moves that you could pull off. And But the roster of WCW 
NWO Revenge is still to this day like one of the best rosters ever, man, at that time. This is we're talking Monday Night Wars. I'm a WCW guy. You know, there's a lot of WWF guys out there or it used to be called WWF, but now it's WWE. You know, the Attitude Era was was dope for WWE, but everything else bye bye. Uh WCW, man, I've watched forever and uh it was my favorite federation. And then ECW was next. And then, you know, WWF or whatever. Uh, but I actually, no, I, let me back that up. Let me change that. TNA. And then fucking um, the others. And if it wasn't Attitude Era, then that's it. We're only, I'm only talking Attitude Era when I'm talking about WWF or WWE. But there were some great times back then. Monday Night Wars, it was just a great time period. And that was my favorite game, WCW and WO Revenge, guys. And I've been playing this, this fucking mod uh, called WCW Feel the Bang. Okay, now it's maybe four or five years old, but uh, it has updates regularly. And what this, I, I'm playing it on PC, of course. And, you know, you have to do a couple of things to, to allow your computer to play this. But once you get that done, you know, it's a wrap. It doesn't take that long if you know what you're doing. It takes literally a couple minutes if you know how to do it. I had to watch some videos and make sure I did it right and all that. But I got it done. I got it working. And I, I love the I love this. Uh, I love this mod, man. And basically it, it had me when I played. I remember when No Mercy came out. I bought I had No Mercy as well. I had WrestleMania 2000. And I always told myself, I always said, you know, this would be the greatest wrestling game of all time. Uh, if they could take that WCW NWO revenge game and they put the no mercy engine on it. In other words, the no mercy engine, you know, gave you, it had the weight detection animations and all that. So if you try to pick somebody up and they were a heavyweight, you know, super heavyweight, those fat guys, you, you fucking damn near break your back trying to do it. And it made, it, it made more sense. It was more realistic in that way. Um, but they actually found a way to do it. They took the no mercy engine. Okay. And then they put WCW skins on that. So I fucking loved it. And they added some, you know, some, some wrestlers are missing, but they added some other ones. I think it's like 60 something wrestlers on this roster, like 62 or something like that, which is cool. I mean, the roster is dope. They still got the one, the main ones, you know, I couldn't believe Mr. Perfect. You had Macho Man. Both guys were from WWE going there. And there were more. But I just thought that this roster in itself was, it was just perfect timing. Everybody, everything lined up right. Uh, this mod has like, I, I want to say 20 some odd different arenas. Probably more than that. Maybe more like 30 or 40 different arenas. Um, some of the dope pay-per-view arenas and stuff like that. It's amazing, man. They really killed it with this mod. So I've been playing a little bit of that. I'm going to be playing more, of course, as time goes by and getting into all of that and find out how it works. But, man, those are the things I love, man. That's the cool thing about PC, man, these mods, this crazy shit. Um, there's nothing like it. Nothing fucking like it. But that's what I've been playing. Uh, I downloaded a couple other games. I, I forgot the name of the one that I did download. I could look it up right now. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, let's look this shit up real quick because I got my screen in front of me. The game is called Nico Arena. It's, I literally paid a dollar twenty five for it on Steam. The first game I bought. And it's an anime. It's, these, it's a bunch of female anime chicks with bathing suits on running around sh with guns shooting each other. You know, I just wanted to try something out and I bought it. I haven't even played it yet. I just downloaded it. Um, but I'm looking at some other games. I already started a wish list, guys. I have about 20 games on my wish list right now. And, you know, in a month, I'll probably have 100 on there. And that's fine. And that's that's cool. And like I said, with these sales, when they hit like that, hey, I'm right here getting all these fucking games with these sales. You know what I mean? And I'll be playing my ass off on it. So now I have just one more device, one more gaming option. And what's wrong with that? You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with having more options. The more options, the fucking better. Okay. 
traveling purposes, whatever the fuck you want to do is 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 perfect. You know what I mean? I, if I want to move out of the man cave and I got something else going on, I want to go to the bed or in another area of the, of the crib. You can do that and you can take your laptop or take a handheld or whatever. It, it's 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 excellent. And then the older games, you know, like the the Max Payne's and, and stuff like that. And some of the older titles, SOCOMs and stuff, they, they look extremely exquisite on the PC because they were made with those high res graphics and stuff. But they had to kind of dumb it down a little bit for the consoles because the consoles couldn't necessarily handle all of that at one time so the pc you can kind of you know you can kind of custom make your experience which is dope you're going to get more frames per second you're going to get higher fidelity and 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 so on and so forth so those are the advantages man and i'm just going to take all the advantages that i can and of course everything has certain things that aren't coming out for other things so pc has some shit that's coming out or that's came out that was nowhere else to be found or seen unless you were a veteran pc player or just a pc player in general uh so yeah man that that's me right now it it was a very interesting week Uh, i hope to have another interesting week from uh this week for next week's podcast man and i think we will i think we're gonna have a great show and i think it's gonna be just gonna be excellent man like always guys i'm just i'm doing this shit for you uh, before I get out of here, I'm going to remind everybody one more time. Check out StudioMacGyver.com. Show your love and support for the show. I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, buy some merch, man. Buy a T-shirt. Buy a fucking hoodie. Uh, you know, um, I'm grateful. I'm very grateful. If you Even if you don't, for whatever reason, I am still grateful because the listeners are here. They're coming in droves. They like the show. They fuck a lot of them love this show. And I have nothing but love to give back to you guys, man. If you take time out of your day and to, to lend me your ear for me to talk about this type of stuff, man, I, I love it, man. And I would love to talk to more of you guys about this. I would love to just sit and pick you guys' brains on some of your favorite games, maybe your favorite anime and, and, and all of that. And it would be just it'd be epic, man. It really fucking would. And being on the show, maybe trying to talk, you know, about these same things. Nerd shit. Okay. And I'm not too proud to admit that I am one. I've been one for a very fucking long time. I remember being 17 years old with that fucking Dragon Ball Z book cover. And people were looking at me like I was purple. But I didn't give a fuck. And guess what? Dragon Ball ended up being so cool, so awesome. People ended up loving it. Same thing with anime in general, guys. Man, it's a beautiful thing. But with that being said, I'm going to get my ass up out of here. It's been a long night. I'm extremely tired, guys. Before last night, I only had an hour and 45 minutes maybe of sleep in two days. So then I slept for 10 hours, woke up this morning at like four this morning. So, yeah, and it's uh, it's pretty late now. So I'm going to wrap this podcast up for you guys. And that's going to be that. Um, Thank you guys for listening. Uh, I really appreciate it each and every one of you guys for supporting the show and uh yeah i'm gonna get out of here i love you guys this is studio macgyver and you have been listening to studio macgyver's dragon ball and video game podcast see you next time